Escorted across the Gaza beach, the moment freedom was in sight for four Israeli hostages. The Defence Forces releasing more images of their high-stakes rescue mission. But the celebration for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was short-lived. Hours after the successful rescue, Benny Gantz, a key minister in his three-person war cabinet, dramatically quit over the handling of the war. Netanyahu is preventing us from advancing towards true victory. I am leaving the government today with a heavy heart. The former Defence Minister has repeatedly clashed with Benjamin Netanyahu over post-war plans and had issued him with an ultimatum. He's accused Netanyahu of putting his political survival before the lives of hostages and prolonging the war. I won't promise you an easy and quick victory. You deserve more than empty promises. But the state of Israel can and must achieve true victory. He's calling on Netanyahu to name a date for an early election and let Israeli citizens decide. <laughs> Anger within Israel over the war has been boiling for months, with hundreds of thousands taking their fury to the streets. Netanyahu is trying to appear large and in charge now. If he wants to do that, then he might have to start playing by the United States rules rather than by his own personal ambition, his political gain, which has clearly been driving him until now. Netanyahu posted on social media appealing to Gantz to stay on, saying, Benny, this is not the time to abandon the battle. This is the time to join forces. Benny Gantz's departure won't topple the government, but it leaves the door open for extremist coalition members to push their agenda of continuing the war and to complete Israeli occupation of Gaza. And it's likely to lead the US to taking a more active role in moderating the trajectory of this war and pushing for a ceasefire. Alison Horn, ABC News, Jerusalem.